chasing the bag. Chasing the bag. Always talk about the bag. What do you do with your bag? Some chase tail for the bag. Some walk in hail for the bag. Always talk about the bag. Your mama sold coochie for the bag. Your papa did too. They call him a pimp. Now you find yourself answering to how. That's H E A U. X for the bag. You spell it high class. You think for the bag. You sell sex for the bag. Sex worker popular for ah with the bag. Some of you drop bodies for the bag. Judge, jury, executioner for the bag. You only care about the bag. No morals, no values, no ethics. Race, religion, ethnic. Yeah, you proudly suck, big. Your sons do too. The bag, the bag. It's all you know to do. Chasing the bag, chasing the bag. Always talking about the bag. And now, up pops, up pops Jalila White. That actor played the role of Steve Urko and Stefan, so they were two roles. Steve Urko. So Jalila White, as Steve Urko, was rejected by the black women. There's always that one who will love you, though. Okay, but. Usually, black females, black young ladies, tend to be shallow, superficial, and even mean. So, if they think you're not cute, you're not handsome, they're not gonna really, you know. Which is why guys who are not facially or physically attractive must work on other parts of themselves and cultivate a good heart. Work on having. A good mind, because when you have a good heart and a good mind, you are beautiful, and it doesn't matter how you look, physically or facially, because your heart will show its beauty by you being yourself, and that draws people to you. If you are considered facially unattractive, or perhaps your body. Not desirable. It's it's okay, as long as you know to have a good heart and a good mind. Because if you are not looking, and, and you know it's a standard model of beauty, is a European model, which is a lie that we've been sold like all the other lies. It does not necessarily mean that this guy is ugly or this girl is ugly because this person said that. It's in the eye of the beholder. I don't care who considers me attractive or not. It doesn't matter what you think, because there is about my feeling about me and my thoughts about me, and I live in this knowledge of love in my heart. It's where I have God is in my heart, so my heart is filled with love, and what is coming out of me, love, and love is beautiful, and so. I am beautiful, and if you cannot understand, acknowledge, and embrace this concept of love, then you will always be ugly. Do you understand? You will be ugly if you don't have love in your heart, love for yourself, and love for others. Because when you love yourself, then you can love the other. Okay? People chase the bag. Many. People who are considered unattractive, they work hard for the money. They work hard. They work diligently for the money because they know the money is the only way that they can attract 
what they want, which is usually a woman and usually what is considered a beautiful woman because these guys with loads of money don't go for beautiful women. And here's Jaleel White. Now, Jaleel White has not really been doing much acting, so I don't know what his portfolio is. I don't know what his money. So there is this woman he married. She's a white woman and she's considered, well, I saw her. I mean, she's really not facially beautiful. What, what they've been giving us as a model of beauty, this white woman with blonde hair, she's not that okay she it would be called the u word but something about her i saw beyond just that her face was not attractive i could see her beauty i i don't know why i could feel the energy from her like she was beautiful but all these people looking at her saying she's ugly and we're questioning as black women why is it that black men online always talking about black women unattractive and they end up with these non-black women who are not considered attractive. That's bizarre. That's odd. But when we speak of attraction and beauty and what is attractive, <laughs> we go again to the heart. Jalil, Jalil White must have seen the heart of that white female executive who is a billionaire, right? So they think that he's a gold digger and that's why he would choose a white woman who does not look good. But the money looks good, right? Money is very attractive. That's why a lot of these, in quotes, U-G-L-Y guys got to get the bag. And then they have all the coochie in the world. Because when you have the money, the women suddenly, whatever was considered ugly is no longer ugly. Because your bag, the bag, the bag is beautiful to them. And so are you. Because you're holding the bag so if you're a guy who's considered not attractive who is considered ugly and you have no money you better find your way to make your money to get the female the woman the girl the chick the coochie that you would otherwise not get if you didn't have the bag there's something about they're making a big a big deal about this Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian. I can't go anywhere without seeing this freaking name. It's irritating. And the reason why they showed the, the videos, she is a Met Gala. And she's wearing some something she's wearing. She cannot move and she cannot breathe. She's trying to ascend these stairs and you can see very, very hard. It's like she's going to faint. You can see by her facial expression, she cannot breathe. But she is insisting on wearing that. She knows damn well she can't move in it. She's walking upstairs in it. It's absurd. And the body, she's trying to achieve a body. I look at the body and I say, oh, she wants to look like the South African women. The South African women, the majority of them have this type of body. Small waist, wide hips. Small waist wide hips it's an it's not an hourglass hourglass is a thing of the past now they want an apple shape that's no breast and just a big old butt but kim k as far as i knew had she had breast implants who knows this she has so much that's fake but the thing is it's the black people white people are not online posting about kim kardashian it's the black ones and often it's the black male our black males are deficient. And that's why so many of them are starting to act so feminized and feminine. And instead of being the providers, are being the bitches. The bitch. She has the bag. The white executive has the bag. Jalil doesn't. Black women would not have wanted him without a bag and not considered attractive. Though... The part he played as Stefan was considered desirable. And it just shows how shallow and superficial we are as people. And it's also kind of stupid. It's dumb. So Jalil White would be considered smart for seeking and securing the bag. I am Domina Della Pai. Mistress Sasha Storm, thank you for listening. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. This little ditty I wrote, Chasing the Bag, 
I, it was just something I did. Like, it was just like, I didn't edit it. I did. I just let it out. When I was writing it, I was in my head, kind of, it was like a rap. Um, but I'm actually a poet. That's what I've always done. That's how I am separated from the rest of the black people who, they were doing poetry. They turned it into what they call rap and hip hop. But I was doing it and I was called a poet. Thank you. Good day.